the central moment is what the central moment is moment about the mean okay now the joint central moment means we are considering two random variables x and y the what is joint central moment the joint central moment is nothing but the expected value of the function x minus x bar whole power n y minus y bar whole power k okay so it's called the joint central moment how do we represent we represent it as mu n k mu n k so it is what expected value of x minus x bar whole power n y minus y bar whole power k okay now what is the formula for this since we have two random variables you have to consider two integrals integral minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity x minus x bar whole power n y minus y bar whole power k f x y of x comma y dx d okay where x uh, n and k here n and k are positive integers here also how do you find out order of the central moment the order of the central moment can be found by just adding n and k n plus k gives us the order of the central moment here okay now we'll consider what is zero with the order of the central moment so what is zero the order n should be zero and k should also be zero so that is mu zero zero n is zero and k is zero then what is this called zero central moment okay mu zero zero is equal is equal to what expected value of x minus x bar power zero y minus y bar power zero so what is this it is expected value of one no so from the properties of expected value we know that expected value of one will be equal to one only and similarly the first or uh, same first order central moment what is first order central moment n plus k n plus k is equal to 1 so what are the cases we get n plus k is equal to 1 when mu 1 0 n is 1 k is 0 n plus k what is n plus k is 1 no mu 1 0 is equal to what expected value of x minus x bar and y minus y bar power 0 you get so y minus y bar will not be present here we will be having only expected value of x minus x bar so how do you write this can be written as expected value of x minus expected value of x bar so we know that expected value of a constant x bar is a constant no expected value of x bar is equal to x bar only so this gives us x bar whereas expected value of x what it gives it also gives us x bar so what is this value will be zero so mu 1 0 will be zero similarly mu 0 1 what is mu 0 1 It is expected value of x minus x bar power zero you have, so its value will be one. Y minus y bar power one we have, so we will be having only y minus y bar here. Now we apply expected value here. It is expected value of y minus expected value of y bar. Okay, what is expected value of y bar will be equal to y bar only. Okay, and expected value of y will be y bar only. So. What is that? Mu zero one, mu zero one will be zero only. Okay, so from this, what you can understand? The zero central moment will be always one. The first order joint central moment will be always zero. The first order joint central moment will be always zero. And second order central moment. What are the different cases we have to obtain? Second order central moment when n is equal to two and k is equal to zero. What is the order here? We have discussed that. n plus k is equal to zero. Okay, so n plus k will give us the order is equal to two. Two. So what is that here? N n is zero, k is uh, n is two, k is zero. So you get order is equal to two, and n is zero, k is two. Uh, then also we get order is equal to two, and n is equal to one, and k is equal to one. Then also we get order is equal to two. These are the Different cases where we get order is equal to two. So n is equal to two, k is equal to zero, and n is equal to zero and k is equal to two. N is equal to one and k is equal to one. These are the different cases we get order is equal to two. Okay. So mu two zero, mu two zero is equal to what? Expected value of x minus x bar whole square. So what is this? Expected value of x minus x bar whole square. This is called second central moment. What is second central moment? Is called variance sigma x squared. 
Similarly, mu two zero is expected value of y minus y bar whole square. It is also second central moment since it is function of y. It is sigma y square. Okay, and we have mu one one that is expected value of x minus x bar y minus y bar. How do we denote? We denote it as sigma x y. Okay. What is the formula for this? It is given as integral minus infinity plus infinity, integral minus infinity plus infinity, x minus x bar, y minus y bar, sigma f x y of x comma y dx zero. This is the second central moment. Okay. What is that we have discussed? We have discussed that joint central moment is nothing but the expected value of x minus x bar whole power n, y minus y bar whole power k. And this can be written as mu n k. This n plus k is called order of the central moment. And we have discussed that zero joint central moment value will be one, and first order joint central moment value will be zero, and the second order joint central moment gives us mu two zero gives us sigma x square the variance, mu zero two gives us sigma y square the variance of y. And mu one one gives us sigma x y. 